LinkedIn, part social media, part professionalism, can it help you in a career in technology? The short answer, yeah, it definitely can. Let's talk about how we can utilize LinkedIn in three different ways. First, let's cover the basics. In order to be seen in LinkedIn, you need to make sure you include a photo. So many times I've seen the mistake people make of not having a LinkedIn photo. It's one of the easiest ways to make your profile look more real. Something as simple as using your wall in your house and a smartphone will suffice, honestly. Make sure you use a photo that's recent and really shows your face. Next, moving on to a really important part of LinkedIn is the title. In this part, it's recommended to highlight something that is notable either in your professional life or something that you're interested in pursuing. So for instance, if you're a sophomore interested in software engineering internships, put exactly that. It's a great way for people to easily know who you are and what you're interested in pursuing. If you are already established in your career, you can go ahead and put your role name as well as where you work. Next, we move on to the summary. In the summary, this is a place where you can showcase something that is uniquely you. It's where you can establish your brand and put things that wouldn't be displayed in your resume as of now. It's a great place to showcase who you are and what motivates and drives you to do the things that you do. The rest of the parts that you include on your LinkedIn page include past experiences as well as your skills. This is honestly pretty similar to what you already have on your resume. So feel free to go more in depth on the impact you made in past experiences that you had. Now that you have those things out of the way, don't forget to also include endorsements. Obviously when you really think about it, endorsements might not really have that much weight, but because it is a section on LinkedIn, it's better to utilize them. Now let's go ahead and move into the three use cases of LinkedIn. Do your research on what is most utilized in the field right now. And if you have experience on that, put that on your LinkedIn profile. Most likely recruiters will see those words and they'll be more inclined to reach out and ask for you to apply. When a recruiter reaches out, they'll most likely reach out to you by LinkedIn message. Once again, treat it with professionalism when you respond. Try to respond promptly and also concisely. Also, show you're really interested in their company and show your appreciation for them reaching out. Usually at this point, you can either schedule a phone call with the recruiter who will eventually tell you a little bit more about the opportunity or you may even immediately move into the interview experience for that company. From there, work with the recruiter and you'll likely get to schedule something awesome. The second way to utilize LinkedIn is to maintain your connections. So whether that's a, an old mentor from a different company or some friends from past internships that you haven't connected in with a long time, utilize LinkedIn to check in with them. What I like to do with old mentors is check in with them once or twice a year, just asking how they're doing, letting them know where I'm at right now in my career, and once again, honestly, just appreciating and thanking them for all the support they've given me throughout these years. The thing that you can do is when you come across an article on LinkedIn or somewhere else that reminds you of your mentor or friends, go ahead and share that with them on LinkedIn. Utilize that as a talking point to just get the conversation started and rekindle the relationship that you have. It might feel a little weird and awkward to do that, but more likely than not, your mentors and your friends are probably really excited to hear from you. And of course, you don't have to utilize LinkedIn to do this, but sometimes it might be the best way to reach out to someone, especially if you haven't been in contact with them for a long time. The third way to utilize LinkedIn is establishing your network and building it out. One thing you can do is cold call someone. What that means is you're reaching out to someone that you've never really gotten to meet beforehand and you're trying to establish a connection on LinkedIn. This can be really intimidating and honestly very scary. There's a right way to do this and there's a very wrong way to do this. The correct way of doing this is once again treating everything with professionalism and being very transparent on who you are and what your intentions are as well. So from this point it really depends on what your motivation is to expand your network. For me personally, I never really used establishing the network to get a job, instead I used it as a way to learn more about jobs. I used it as a way to establish more connections to learn more about a role. By scheduling informational interviews or just emailing them questions I had about some of their experiences. What I recommend is either looking at someone who has some sort of connection to you. Maybe they went to the same high school as you or the same college. Go ahead and leverage those connections 
and add that into your note when you try to send them a LinkedIn request. Also, make sure you send a note. Like, please do not be that person who sends in a LinkedIn request and doesn't include a message. And another way to expand your network is to continue to post a lot of useful things you find on your LinkedIn feed. Personally, I don't do this as much, but I've seen a lot of friends who utilize this feature and they are able to get a lot of exposure and meet a lot of cool people this way. You can share articles of things that are relevant to your field and you can also share and humble brag about your accomplishments as well. So I hope that LinkedIn 101 for computer science students was helpful. Thank you so much, Samantha, for your suggestion on today's video. Please let me know in the comments if there's any other topic you'd like me to cover about computer science in general. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it if you did, and also subscribe to my channel. I make new videos every week. Good luck with everything. Until next time.